Hello, hello. So today we're going to be reacting to an Itzy music video, actually two Itzy music videos. Um, these are some pre-release stuff for their comeback with the album Born To Be. So one of the tracks here in the music video is called Born To Be, but this is not the title track um, for the album, uh, right? I don't know if I'm right, because I made the blunder with NMix, like reacting to a pre-release like it was the comeback song. So I looked this up before I started. Um, so uh, let's get started. We've got some Itzy. I don't know much about this other than uh, Leah is not here because she's in hiatus at the moment, which is unfortunate. Uh, but let's get started, you guys. Three, two, one. Let's go. Born to be. I really like uh, this music video, the style. It feels more like a performance. I think they focus a lot of, on the performance. There's a lot of stuff visually that's happening that's interesting, but I like the use of this. I don't know what these are, like the screens that are joined together and they make a graphic at the bottom. Um, and it adds some depth, you know, in, into the music video. It feels like we're like, that's somewhere where it's on fire. Come on, A fire come cave. On, come on. I don't know. But it's so like elaborate. It feels like a like a play. That tickles me. Take it in Victoria Lane, yeah. I'm about to let this whole crowd go in. 
and we get Terry on high Crazy dance break. Oh darn. <laughs> darn Itsy. Mmm. Wow. I really like the styling here as well. And um Yuna and Cheryong. This is the most confident I've seen them in a video in like a performance i feel like they're slaying extra hard here um and of course yeji and ryujin that's sort of a given um i do miss leah though <laughs> i miss leah we have four members here and i feel like there are moments in the song that i'm just like Le maybe if leah was here this would be her part um but i i respect that she needs to rest uh so i'll take this I'll take what we can get. Uh, I enjoyed the music video. I think visually it's very gorgeous. I think it focuses heavily on performance and what makes Itzy stand out for me as a group, as a fourth generation K-pop group is uh, their stage presence and performance. Um, I found that out to be the case much more so when I went to see them in concert. I was shook, I was blown away at like their charisma, their stage presence, and I think they're incredible performers. So it's cool to see that here in this video. Uh, in terms of the song, um, it's actually a darker concept, right, from their previous title tracks. Um, I, I would say it's like closer to like Mafia in the Morning. Um, and it's it's cool I, I like the styling but the song i don't think it's quite my cup of tea uh to be honest just from my initial listen i don't think it's a song that i would seek out uh without the video without the performance because to me i'm sort of more entranced with the performance aspect of it i don't think that's a bad thing necessarily because it's just a type it's just a style kind of thing a preference kind of thing um because i think their execution is still impressive we get i i think it is impressive also their vocals we get some more uh chair young uh vocals here and i think she's got a, a really sweet voice um but with like a lethal kind of song it's kind of interesting to listen to and also yeah that high note was really impressive as well so let's move on to the next video this one was just released today so they're releasing a full album and they've got solo songs in it right so this is yeji's 
right? <laughs> Crown on my head. Let's get started, you guys. Three, two, one. Let's go. Okay. Damn, okay. Is that the full song? It's so short. Wait. A minute and 47 seconds song. I hope that's not the full song. <laughs> Bro, the way she came in was so epic. First of all, she looks so good in the video. Um, and again, I, I mean, their, their performance is excellent. What, what else can I say about it? They're great. Uh, this is some cool uh, choreography here. Um, I, I'm like just imagining like the next Itzy tour, having like um, the solo stages, like their original songs for solo would be so epic. Because uh, they had like individual stage in the previous tour, but it was cover, uh, so it'd be cool to see with their solo songs, right? Uh, I really like the styling here as well. I like the song and I like the style of it. I don't really know much about Itzy like super deeply personally. Like we watched a few of their series on Patreon, um, like the Par the one where they went to Paris. Uh, so th this style, I wouldn't have expected it uh, uh, from Yeji. Like, I don't know how heavy she is on, like, the rock style. It's more of, like, a pop, poppy rock, right? Um, but I love hearing those, like, electric guitars. I love hearing the percussion. I think it's pretty epic. 
Um, I'm curious to see if this is like the full song because some of the transitions like to the parts feels a little bit awkward. Like the last chorus feels like so abrupt the way it like jumps in there. Um, so maybe they shortened it. Uh, you guys let me know. Who knows? Um, we'll listen to it when the full album comes out. I'm also guessing that uh, the other members will have uh, these little music videos from their solo songs. So we'll check those out as well when they come out. But anyways, that is it for this reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you haven't checked out my other Itzy reactions yet, go have a look. I got a bunch in this channel. Also check out Patreon. That's where I post live stage performance reactions, Japanese music videos. Those are free. And there's also exclusive content over there weekly. As I mentioned, we have a couple of Itzy series over there like Buquest, Buquest, and also their Paris series. I think it's... I forgot what it was called. It's Itzy in Paris. <laughs> um, so go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.